In the 2007 film, Live Free or Die Hard, John McClane goes to war with a cyber terrorist bent on chaos. FAA just issued a critical alert. The entire network went down. Transportation system's crashing and they just hit the entire financial sector. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Fast forward. Today, we know this isn't just a movie plot. It doesn't matter what Cyber you war is reality. You turn and if you're a target, it could cost you thousands of dollars. One of the latest weapons is something called ransomware. It allows hackers to capture or lock your information by using a virus and then hold it for ransom. The only catch? Sometimes victims pay the ransom and get their data back. Sometimes they pay and get nothing. This is something that happens not just to businesses, but to individuals. You have to consider not only the financial cost to you of maybe paying out that ransom, you're now gonna have to go and change all of those credit cards. You, you may have difficulty obtaining positions that require clearance. You might have difficulty traveling abroad, maybe buying a house. There are some long-term impacts to your information being compromised, and it can be a bit of a headache to get all of that back. Welcome to the Advanced Technology Center. This Virginia Beach initiative was designed with one goal, provide students with hands-on education in engineering and technology. The program focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM, as a platform to recruit the next generation of cyber defense. Globally, uh, there's a competitive need for us to be on top of our A-games. And if we don't excite students early, we're gonna have some students missing the boat. And I think it's imperative to get this out to as many schools as we can. That means elementary, middle, and high school. One program lasts a whole year, culminating in a cybersecurity challenge. Students must identify and then stop potential cyber threats from affecting the world. So cybersecurity is gonna impact anybody who's exchanging information over the internet. So for us, that's what drives something that begins at kindergarten and moves all the way through secondary. For the high school students, what does the challenge actually entail? They're actually defending a digital infrastructure. They will do that by using the skills that they've gained over the last year in networking, operating systems, and basic computer science concepts, which include things like social engineering or reverse engineering. Student teams work together to find and defuse possible threats. Let's say they go into a particular image and there is someone on this employee list that has privileges that are elevated that shouldn't be. They can um, de-escalate those privileges. Once they do that, that provides them the ability to gain some points with a built-in scoring engine. In addition to winning scholarships, students earn another valuable tool, real-world experience. This is their ability to kind of dig into what does the industry of cybersecurity look like? What is the potential for me with this skill set to be employed at some point in the future? Skills that we civilians caught up in the cyber war will appreciate.